At the Conflict Center, we believe that conflict is normal. It is something that can be healthy in relationships because we all have different needs and preferences. Conflict is inevitable, but violence is not. Our program, Emotional Intelligence and Critical Decision Making, supports preteens and teens in handling conflict in an assertive, nonviolent way. We teach them conflict management skills and tools. We start with an important foundation. Emotional intelligence is about getting to know more about their needs, their emotions, and about ways to build healthy relationships. Critical decision making is the other building block. Teens have a lot of changes going on biologically and emotionally. Without proper tools or modeling by parents and peers, making good choices can be difficult for them. Seeing the connection between action, consequence, and long-term interest is a learned skill. The program has eight different themes. Communication is a central theme. We teach skills and tools in a variety of ways. We explain essential concepts, mindsets, and rules. Self-reflection is a big part. Experiential techniques and games bring the concepts to life and let the students practice. We also include parents or other supportive adults. Students bring their parents to half of the classes so that they can learn and practice together. At our school programs, parents are not present but are invited to participate through homework activities. Our programs run over a period of time so students can come back and talk with the instructor about their experiences. A lot of programs just give all the information in one day, but best practices confirm that building real life skills takes time and practice. That's our other big plus, the experiential setup. And finally, our instructors. They come from a variety of backgrounds. They share openly what works for them in real life situations. This makes it easy for students to relate to them. Over the course of the program, the instructor often becomes a coach for the students when they bring back their stories. We have offered similar programs for 25 years and in this format for seven years, and we continue to improve it. We start a new group approximately every month or about 10 times a year. A lot of our students are scared. They don't want to open up. Who else is going to be there? After a few weeks, most of them relax. They start to talk, to listen, and to learn from each other. Our expertise has deep roots, but our approach stays fresh and up to date. Teenagers recognize this. They want to make the best use of their time and have an opportunity to have their experiences and opinions valued. They have a voice.